this is Nick Nielsen, Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is killer fat loss workout. Now this is something that I call fat loss circuit training, where you're going to be doing what looks like a normal workout on paper, but instead of taking rest in between sets, you're actually going to be doing low intensity cardio. So what I'm going to be doing here is five exercises covering basically the entire body, and then in between I'm going to use the Helix Lateral Trainer. So the exercises I'm going to use are all going to be done with a pair of 75 pound dumbbells. So the only equipment I'm going to use are these two dumbbells and the trainer. Now if you don't obviously have one of these, totally fine. You can use uh, pretty much any sort of uh, cardio machine or not machine that you like. Uh, what I tend to like to gravitate towards is stair stepping where I'm actually on my basement steps, stepping up two steps, stepping back down two steps. Now you're going to do this light cardio for 40 seconds and then you're going to repeat and go back to the original exercise. So you're going to do four sets of each of these exercises. So I've got one arm dumbbell snatch. This is an explosive exercise to start with. Then 40 seconds cardio, then back to this, then 40 seconds cardio. Now, for the explosive stuff, you're looking for a set of three reps. This is power-oriented training, so you want a weight that's going to be fairly challenging. Now, if you don't want to do, uh, or if you're not able to do the one arm dumbbell snatch, you can also do um, any other kind of explosive exercises, or you can skip the explosive stuff altogether, not a problem. Second exercise is a dumbbell floor press, and if you have a bench, you can use dumbbell bench press, no problem. I've decided to use just basically dumbbells and nothing else. So dumbbell floor press, and then bent over dumbbell rows, both arms, and uh, done simultaneously. Uh, the next exercise is dumbbell goblet squat, so for that I'm only going to use one dumbbell for it, and doing just a regular goblet squat. Now, in terms of rep ranges, these will vary depending on uh, the exercise you're using. So, like I said, for the explosive, probably about three reps for the floor press. We're looking at eight to 12 reps. For the row, it could be up to 15 reps. For the goblet squats, that will vary depending on uh, how tired you are at this point, essentially. Now, the final exercise is a combination exercise that's going to target the glutes and hamstrings very strongly. This is going to be a split squat, so you're standing up like this, and then lean forward. So I call these lean forward split squats. And you're going to go back and forth between those two movements. So up, lean forward, come back, and then down again. This really hammers the glutes and the hamstrings very, very strongly. So what I'm going to do here is run through this entire workout on video. I'll speed it up so that you don't have to watch it in real time, but you'll get the idea of exactly how this works.
right, so that is the full workout. Now, the elegance of this particular workout is that you're working all the major energy systems and major muscle fiber types in one workout. So you've got your short duration explosive training at the beginning, and at the end you've got the short duration low rep stuff as well. In between, you've got your uh, medium range or rep range kind of training, which is like the 8 to 12 to 15 rep range. Um, in between, also again, using the endurance cardio in between. So when you're bouncing back between a variety of different energy systems, it keeps your body basically moving in a variety of different directions so that it never gets accustomed into one steady state kind of training. Now, efficiency is not what we're looking for here. This kind of training forces you to be very inefficient in your training because you're bouncing back and forth between a variety of different things. For building muscle or building strength, you want efficiency, you want consistency. For fat loss, you do want to bounce around between different modality, different energy systems, different muscle fiber types, which forces your body to never really get into a steady state adaptation state. So this is more effective for fat loss, it keeps things very interesting, and it's going to crank your metabolism up. You'll be feeling warm literally for hours after you're done this one. This is fat loss circuit training done using the Helix lateral trainer and a pair of 75 pound dumbbells or <clears throat> whatever kind of dumbbells you have.